Hey guys, talking about torque, T-O-R-Q-U-E, fun word for Scrabble or Wordle, not quite Hurdle, need an extra letter in there. So, torque, if you're not familiar, is something physics understands very well. And what is lifting if not being able to use a lot of physics to our advantage? So, I'm gonna give you the nerdy response here. As a physical therapist, understanding these physics, so as you're bench pressing, we really wanna be able to turn the same way if you've ever seen ring push-ups or you've done ring push-ups, you should be, as you're pressing away, turning your thumbs out. Back in the day, and I think we actually have them somewhere here in this gym, is these perfect push-ups. So they would actually just allow you to turn as you're doing the push-up. So external rotation, external torque. When we have our elbows bent, I would call that supination because you're trying to turn your palm up and in anatomy and physiology, in uh, the, the medical space, supination, holding a bowl of soup in your hand, pronation, I don't have a good one for that. You're, you're a pro when you can you, you put the money on the table. I don't know, pronation, supination, but yeah, elbows in. So narrow grip especially, I think is gonna help our shoulders get a lot healthier, depending on where you are in your workout career. But yes, working on this external rotation or torque, elbows in tight, so that when you press through, uh, and that's not the exercise we're doing, I'm just trying to demonstrate, but yeah, band set up in the rig here, elbows in, so we're working on three sets of 12, elbows in, working that rotation, this supination, and then if I wanna press the arms out, I'm gonna work the same thing. This is a weaker and harder position for my elbows, so if I wanna use one part of the band, that's gonna be much lighter if you have different thicknesses and bands. So working on external torque, external rotation of the shoulder, right? So we're working on that piece. Work that in, see how that feels. It's gonna feel funky, but also it's gonna screw your shoulders into the right place. Meaning, you're gonna have less injuries, meaning we're gonna have higher performance because at the end of the day, the most important thing for training, in my opinion, is longevity, is consistency. So if you can have better mechanics with your shoulders, you're gonna live a little longer, you're gonna train a little bit longer, you're gonna be able to hit more PRs. I know that's what we're all after, so best of luck out there.